Matt and Mattingly's Bucket Show was recorded in front of a live studio audience in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Fart noise. (laughs) (laughs) I have great timing, as you can tell. With the snaps, with the starting everything, I'm, I'm great at it. Is this, are we going, are we live right now? I'm not seeing myself on the thing. I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing this. Delay. Hello, world. How are we? How are we doing? One of the wills says, woo! I love the music being played in the back. Hello, my name is Brent Mukai. I am your uh, warm-up comic today. Who's the new guy? That would be me, Brent Mukai. One of the wills says, fuck it, we'll do it live. Okay, uh, if you're wondering what a warm-up comic is, I'll explain it to you right now. Uh, if Matt and Mattingly were kind of like the, uh, the hi, how's it going, Scoop Jambi? If Matt and Mattingly are like the, uh, the prime rib and the lobster of the meal, I'm like the free bread that they bring around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that most of you don't want and didn't care for, but now that it's here, you'll eat it, I guess. Uh, what's up, Pistachio Pete Scoop, Drywit Geek? Hi, how's it going? Thank you. What up with these ads? I have YouTube bread, super duper pooper scoop. Uh, I'm going to try not to look at that. You pickle look, you a pickle guy, Brent? <laughs> it's like a snuggle, but with jokes, right? Yes, that's exactly. I'm like a big snuggie. I'm an Asian snuggie. Also made in China. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm here to basically uh, uh, get ready and get everybody set and explain how the show is going to work. Uh, hello again. If you were here last week and you saw the show or maybe you watched it afterwards... Um, But if you weren't, then let me explain what's going to happen. Matt and Paul are going to be coming up doing improvised comedy. Everything that you're about to see is going to be made up right here on the spot. No pre-thoughts, no written down, nothing. Uh, And they're going to be taking suggestions from you all. Uh, We have a live audience here, live audience here. Um, (laughs) I pointed over there. There's like two people there. But there's a live audience here, and they're great, and they're phenomenal, and I'm happy to have you here. Uh, This is the part where you clap to let people know. As you can see, I'm doing a phenomenal job at this. All right. Uh, <laughs> I feel warmed up already. You are, Yeah, Jacob and uh, Spadonia have been warmed up for hours. Uh, we've been here sitting just in silence, waiting to go live. And I'm glad that you're here. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, what's going to happen is you are going to be typing in different suggestions for these guys at their prompts. Whenever they ask you for something, then you are going to have control over the show. Uh, the audience here is going to laugh at all the suggestions and all of the things that are being uh, presented here. We're going to have some music, some improv, some comedy. Boom, boom, boom. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. How is everyone's... F- Picks. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Uh, if you would like to send in some picks, they are going to be playing a game later on that will be all about uh, taking visual pictures that you send in. So hashtag... Uh, visual pictures, my favorite. Visual, pi- <laughs> visual <laughs> pictures, everyone's favorite. <laughs> Almost a, a close second to sound audio, yep. my, <laughs> to that audio music. <laughs> that sweet, sweet audio music that you play, Spadoni. Uh, if you would like to uh, send in picture, <laughs> Jacob's timing as always, right on the sp- right on the money. Uh, if you would like to send in pictures for the game where they will be uh, doing everything and making sketches off of those pictures, please hashtag uh, uh, on Twitter. Is it the hashtag on Twitter or on Twitter? Hashtag on Twitter. Bucket picks. That is picks. P I C S, not P I X, because we're keeping it classy here. P I C S. Bucket picks. B U C K E T P I C S. Leave whatever picture. Yeah, cl- give us a clap. And if you hashtag bucket for dicks, bucket picks. If you hashtag bucket dicks, I'm not gonna get those until tonight when I get home. Also, yes. we're, we're going with the lowercase p and then uppercase ICS to keep the branding <laughs> consistent. So it's like Hello. P-I-C-S. For those of you who had to see that close-up, I'm sorry. And uh, all right. Uh, did anybody bucket dicks? Scoop John B. Thank you for bucket dicks. Uh, FL, FCBL Comish. Clap. Thank you. One of the Will's three claps. I appreciate that. Bucket dicks. 
bucket dick pics. Not going to be uh, coming up, but uh, how was everyone's 4th of July? Was it good? Did everybody have a good 4th of July? Fancy glasses, also Asian. Yes, I'm full Japanese. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> Moxie H. Fox. Oh, man, I sent mine to Bucket Clits. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I'll get those, I'll get those quickly. Keeping it. Oh, two women just walked into the audience as I said Bucket Clits. Still got all 11 fingers. Great. <laughs> No problem with that. I don't know why I'm here. I could just, you could literally just read the feed and have all of the comedy here. What's up? <laughs> Lori Lou Ellen, no idea what to do, but I have to clock in at work in a few minutes anyway. So, boo, I'm sorry, Lori Lou Ellen. Well, thank you for stopping by and, and letting us know that you're sad. I would just uh, turn the volume up at work. I think, yeah. that's a fine, I think that's a fine thing to do. Oh, you don't have headphones or anything you could use at work, Lori Lou Ellen? No, you need big speakers. Big speakers. Really big speakers. Let the people at work hear. Let them hear me say bucket clits. Let them. I got paid to blow shit up. Always a good fourth. You got paid to blow shit up. That's awesome. Somebody in the audience was telling me how uh, some baby got hit with a firework. <laughs> <laughs> and he saw it and he was hanging out at a park that wasn't even a real park. It was just like a middle school baseball park. What's up, crazy is zero? My flight from DC has been delayed five fucking hours. At least I have this going on. Yes. At least you have the dulcet tones of a uh, fat Asian man talking to you. Do you like my uh, puka shell necklace, by the way? I'm from Hawaii. How are you doing? Hello. Nice to see you. Hi welcome. Welcome. How are you doing? How was your 4th of July? Was it good? Is it a good time? What'd you, what'd you do? Anything special? No, nothing special at all. Okay. I'll go to this side of the audience and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't see it there at home, but uh, I got the distinct look of get the fuck away from me from, <laughs> from the woman I was talking to. Uh, no different from any usual woman I talk to, so this is, uh, this is great. This is a phenomenal time. Thanksgiving for werewolves. Call me a prude, but I don't think you should blow up babies with fireworks. Prude. <laughs> Loosen up. Thanksgiving for werewolves, all right. You're a prude. This is America, yeah, you prude. All right. Puka means shell with a hole. I did not know that, Yata069. Yata sounds like a more Japanese name than Brent, so I will believe you. All right. My name is, <laughs> my name is Brent. I, uh, I'm the warm-up comic. Ellsroth, that taint funny. Chris, we are yeah. R. I'm listening to this while I'm driving, so please keep the visual jokes to a minimum. You got it. Yes. <laughs> we will describe all the. We'll describe all the pictures. All right. Now I will be doing my spot on Charlie Chaplin impression. So everybody, please <laughs> take a look. Uh, <laughs> Best silent movie performer ever. That was. Uh, That is crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, fuck you, whoever's listening in your car right now. All right. <laughs> oh, that cane work, though. That cane work. <laughs> We're going to be doing the all-visual show in a little bit. Sil silent visuals. <laughs> you missed it all. Uh, oh, boy. All right. So uh, for those of you who are just joining us, what we're about to see is the Bucket Show. It is going to be all improvised right here on the spot with suggestions from all of you there. Uh, so type in your suggestions whenever you're prompted, and we will be using that in the show. Uh, this whole show is going to be dependent on you. So please stick around and give us your funny, fun suggestions. It's like Chaplin is Tayborn. Oh, Reborn. There we go. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's what that's supposed to be. I'm just like Chaplin's taser. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Charlie Chaplin, if he was an Asian man, his name would be Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> oh boy. Charlie Chapman. <laughs> Charlie Japman, I love it. Uh, well, that's just redundant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, that's what that's where the warm-up backfire. <laughs> the real R. Joe J. Owens. Wait, you're Asian? Yes, I am. From the tip of my tongue to the bottom of my shoe. All right. <laughs> They're Nike, so they were made in China. Okay. Uh, Charlie T. Born. That's uh. 
That's all right. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, uh, uh, this is go this show is going to be all made up right here on the spot. We have the lovely Jacob behind hey. uh, doing all of the audio, making sure that we can, yeah, give a round of applause. Love that guy. We have Spadoni on the amazing audio music that we have here. Yes. Uh, and please give a, a, a nice little uh, round of applause for everybody here at Ugug Productions here at Polaris Studios. They're making this happen. They're doing all of it. Why leave Hawaii for Vegas? It's because it's very expensive in Hawaii. It's extremely... And I wanted to live in 115 degree weather, that's why. I do, I do believe Charlie is Vietnamese, right? Yes, Yata069, that was the joke. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> I knew we'd get there. Oh boy, special guest Jacob. Okay, um, if you would like, it's it's really weird to read my own heckles to myself. Uh, <laughs> usually, I have to shut people down, but now today I'm just shutting myself down the entire time. I'm just, I'm reading my. It's like oh, fat fucking Asian guy. It's like fat fucking Asian guy. Fuck you, guy. I can't see. You know. This shit just got real. Doc Scoop 5, I know. I just went back to like preschool and shit. <laughs> where I was a fat fucking Asian guy. Okay. Have you visited Boy, a dispensary can't... since July 1? No, I have not. Uh, one of the wills, you're always shutting yourself down. That's, my, that's the Asian specialty, in fact, yes. Before I can even dream, I have to first uh, give myself a lot of uh, nervousness before I can do it. I pretty much have a total crush on you, Scoopette. On me? Are you talking to me, Scoopette? I don't even, I don't know what you look like and I don't care because I am very lonely. Okay. <laughs> Scoop John B, he's not fat. It's just Spatoni's pecs warping the stage light. It has its own gravity. <laughs> uh, Scoopette, okay, my number- Please give me a call. Okay. Uh, we're about to get started. One last thing, if you would like, uh, please send in on Twitter your pictures to uh, Scoop Picks, uh, hashtag Scoop Picks, or Bucket Picks, I'm sorry, hashtag Bucket Picks, B-U-C-K-E-T-P-I-C-S, with your pictures that you would like to put in the show later on. With that being said, uh, is everybody ready? Because we are about to show, we are about to start the show, that's what I meant to say, the Bucket Show. So everybody, please give a warm welcome and a round of applause for the main event. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, hey! Welcome to the it's happening! The welcome fucking the show's bucket happening! Show. It's actually occurring right now as we speak. This is it, officially episode one. Episode one. Last, day, last week was episode zero. And now uh, we're at episode We did the full tech, and here we go. A big hand for Brent Mackay doing the yeah. warm up act. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that was not what we was not what we put on paper, but it's it was very funny to watch. So <laughs> I was just uh, uh, enjoying that. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us here at the Bucket Show over there. That's Paul Mattingly. That is Matt Donnelly. It's true. And uh, we're gonna do some improv for you as I put this bucket down slowly and narrate my transition. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be asking you guys all over the internet uh, to write us random suggestions. And I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, because there's a little bit of a lag between where we can read the screen and where you are, I'm telling you right now that we uh, want you to start uh, typing in jobs, and I want you guys to start typing in animals. So just start mm -hmm. typing in random jobs and animals, because everything we do tonight is to be made up uh, on the spot uh, from your suggestions here on the twitch.tv slash hey scoops chat room. Yes. Um, and so we thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for tuning in How many in people live. are in the room, Wes? Uh, next question. Jacob, how many people are in the room? 115. Yay! 115. <laughs> very nice. That's, That's awesome, very guys. Nice. Uh, very nice. A lot of people with nothing to do in this afternoon. That's good. <laughs> um, and so, well, it's uh, the day after the 4th. Some people have the day off. That's true. Some we, people have the rest of the week off. The rest of us call that the 5th. Some people are employed. I think I think I think I think we just went full circle. Mm -hmm. That's where I started. I think. <laughs> Anyways, uh, don't get a job. <laughs> hang out with us, and uh, we're gonna start doing a little bit of song for you. This will be a Spanish job song. And so, uh, what do you want to do here, Paul? We what do we got? We got a here. woodpecker, and a, what was that? Swimming pool. Uh, swimming pool operator. Swimming pool operator. <laughs> That's what it said. All right. <laughs> swimming pool operating woodpecker. <laughs> swimming pool operating woodpecker. <laughs> We're, uh, when we when we check in like that, we're checking in syllabically with the song that's yeah. in our head. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a 
Uh, yeah. Swimming pool. Swimming pool operator woodpecker. Nah, it's not gonna work. Let's do lifeguard. Okay. Woodpecker, woodpecker life lifeguard. Yeah. Yeah. Woodpecker lifeguard. All right. That'll work. That'll do it for you guys. Thank you guys so much. That fits. Woodpecker lifeguard. Woodpecker lifeguard. Woodpecker lifeguard. Woodpecker lifeguard. Woodpecker lifeguard. Woodpecker lifeguard. I like to smoke the weed, but I also like to succeed. So I like to work in the summer, even though I'm a slob. Even though I am a slob. Hey there, head lifeguard guy. Lifeguard guy. You should tell me. You should hire me. I'll tell you why. I smoke weed, but I really need this job. I really need this job. I'll tell you why you should hire me right now. Just flat. I am me. I'll give you head like this. Lifeguard woodpecker, lifeguard woodpecker, lifeguard woodpecker, lifeguard woodpecker, lifeguard woodpecker, lifeguard <laughs> I'm a bird, I fly in the air Why? I don't swim in the water, down fucking there Why? It's your fault that you don't have a kid <laughs> You don't have a kid I tried to blow my whistle loud <laughs> But all it did was attract a morbidly curious crowd <laughs> They crowd. watch your kid die Lifeguard <laughs> Woodpecker, Lifeguard <laughs> Woodpecker, Lifeguard <laughs> Woodpecker <laughs> Lifeguard Woodpecker! Lifeguard Woodpecker! Lifeguard Woodpecker! I don't always handle things well. well. In my heart, I think I'm real swell. Real swell. But I get anxiety, I get the jitters. I get the jitters. I uh, panic. I panic. I, and I, I get, my throat gets tight. I get tight throat. I, uh, I get all a Twitter. I go all a Twitter. I can't yell help like you do, I'll tell ya. I'll tell ya. I go to shout and all it does is come out like. <laughs> <laughs> woodpecker lifeguard, woodpecker lifeguard, woodpecker lifeguard. <laughs> woodpecker lifeguard, woodpecker lifeguard, woodpecker lifeguard. Ooh. I'm a woodpecker lifeguard, but I'm no fool. Whoa. I know occasionally you have to clean the pool. Whoa. And it was my duty to clean the filter trap. To clean the filter trap. I pulled back the housing and opened the cage. Whoa. Took out the chlorine filter, each little stage. Whoa. But I got too close and the filter went snap. The filter went snap. That filter is a real bird crotch wrecker. Bird crotch wrecker. And since the accident, I now have a real woodpecker. Woodpecker. I'm a woodpecker, woodpecker lifeguard. Woodpecker lifeguard. Woodpecker lifeguard. My dick looks <laughs> now. Woodpecker lifeguard. Woodpecker lifeguard. Woodpecker lifeguard. Woodpecker lifeguard. Hey! Hey! All right. So that's how we make up the songs. So you get the suggestions. We're gonna tell us to work all day. We could have written this out of time, but we're lazy, and that's why we need you. But you keep surfing them up, we'll keep knocking them down. Yep. Or at least batting at them as we'll, best we'll we can. We'll swipe at them like a lazy cat. Some will knock out, some will just miss entirely. Damn. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, we already see some people giving us cheers in the chat. Thank you so much. We appreciate those cheers. Thank you, guys. and Fantastic. appreciate that. We appreciate that so much. And uh, anyone here is an Amazon Prime member, we're going to try to earn your subscription power today. If you want to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, once you find us funny, go for it. But here's the most important thing about our first episode, mm. which is that Paul and I are secretly competing. So if you scroll down to the bottom of your screen, you're going to see two different tip buttons. So throughout the show, if you like one person's performance more than the other, that's what really matters between Paul and I. <laughs> who's funnier? Okay? So uh, you go ahead, or who's cuter? I don't want to make it uh, totally merit-based, or I don't take a chance. <laughs> so, um, like, if you just like, 
If you just like uh, the cut of my jib versus yeah. balls, or you think I do better beard trimming, tip me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, come on. I can't mess with this. Let's go profile. Let's Perfection. show what's going Perfection. Okay. So I you probably use a, a, a machine. I do. I, I use scissors. I use what barbers call a machine, Paul. <laughs> That's true. That's Cheater. Absolute, that's 100% true. Cheater. Um, okay, so uh, throughout the show, or at the very end of the show, which we'll ask for it uh, with, with our buckets, uh, you go ahead and just tip uh, one of us, whoever you think is superior in today's show, for whatever your standards are. Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, let's, do, let's try a little new choice here. Let's do that. All right, we're going to talk to our friends Michael Spadoni back here. He's going to be on the microphone. Big hand for Mike Spadoni. <laughs> and... Um, Michael's going to be utilizing his microphone as well. He's going to say the words. New choice. And anytime he says that, Paul has to change the last thing we said or the last thing we did. Why are you hiding behind me, I'm Paul? just playing. Okay. What we can do is uh, we can change the last thing uh, like he said. So like if I was to say a sentence like, today I got a cat. New choice. Today I got a dog. New choice. Today I got a venereal disease. And whatever he doesn't call new choice on becomes the reality of the scene. And in fact, I did today, just today, get a venereal disease <laughs> right. from a dog and a cat. <laughs> <laughs> he was prepared for all choices. V-line AIDS. That's how psyched he was for episode one. We can okay. also be doing something physical, and he might call new choice on that. Well, let's say I'm about to throw this baseball. New choice. I'm throwing a football. New choice. I'm throwing my venereal disease. <laughs> Boom! Just like that. Just like that. That's how it works. Every third choice goes to venereal disease. And if you don't know what it's like to throw around a venereal disease, I suggest going to Marquee Pool during the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a club here in Las Vegas. It's a day club. Okay, so it's a venereal uh, disease club. It's a venereal that's disease. That's the club you actually it's join. A, you allegedly. Wear, you, allegedly. 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 Just they have clean, clean, oh. clear, crystal clean pools. Unless you want to sponsor us, in which case uh, the the uh, MGM is. Not a spirochete to be found. <laughs> Necrotic you spirochete herpes. freeze. You 2003. Like, you That's like their T-shirt. One of those Popeye bathing suits, but like all rubber. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, just, just roll it down like, like Michael Phelps' Olympic swimsuit. Just scroll that down. Yeah. Oh, that's um, horrible. Anyhow, oh, we need a place of. Uh, no, what do you want to do for this? You want to do a, a, a film title, a place of business? What are you thinking? Uh, yeah, let's do both. <laughs> let's do a film title that means a place of business. <laughs> a film title. Put a place of business in a, in what could be a film oh, title. Scoopo Steves wants you to run for president in 2020. It's happening. What uh, do we got? What do we Scoop got? Kimberly says we should be peeing. Pee pool 17. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Photo, Photo booth. booth from Leon Casal. Photo Booth, Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. That's an actual name of a film. Yeah, yeah. We didn't spend, now we're getting real well, film titles. Say, yeah, we, I should have said, yeah, made, up said made up film no, title. No, let's do it. Let's just do Mad Max in a, in a, in a uh, photo booth. Mad Max Photo <laughs> Booth. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Kitching, kitching, kitching. Oh no! Ah! Ah! New choice. Kitching, kitching. Taser. Oh. Are you pooping yourself? Yes, you oh. tased me. <laughs> Max. I had a big lunch. <laughs> New choice. No, I'm not pooping myself. I'm making this noise to say stop tasing me. <laughs> New choice. I'm not pooping myself. The thing that lives in my pants is pooping. You tased both of us. It's okay. I have a little feral child in my pants. I'm taking you where we're supposed to be doing the scene. <laughs> Let me get this little... I miss over there. I know. <laughs> But there's things in the background of that that aren't supposed to be there. Yeah, but that's where I, that's where I pretended to poop my pants. Look, it's, it's episode one. You gotta. We're gonna make some mistakes. All right, look. <laughs> oh, oh. There's the feral child that lived in my pants. Go. No. Get help. Damn it. Oh, I was gonna get both of you. Too bad. Well, now I'm gonna keep Mad you. Mad other guy. Yeah, it's I'm me. Max. Yes. And you're Mad other guy. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was just developing this photo. New choice. The, I was just putting chemicals into this pouch to make a photo bomb. New choice. <laughs> I am getting high. <laughs> That's where I knew I could capture you. Oh. I knew you'd be getting high on your chemicals. I should have never got high in this photo booth. Also, how is there still a photo booth in this alternative dystopian future? Because uh, the internet is broken. New choice. Because 
Uh, people still like holding hard things sometimes. Plus, black and white's a real classy. New choice. Because uh, it was a MacGuffin, a writer's error. <laughs> New choice. Uh, because I have this in my hand. Real film that needs to be really developed in a real way. New choice. Because I have this, a tiny grenade. Ching. Put the... Give Develop me. this film. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please don't let go of that grenade. No, I won't. Hold on. I need darkness. That's a long fader. Yeah. It's my long special dimmer switch. <laughs> it gives me a huge gradient of light. Who said that? Paul Gradient, the inventor of the light switch. <laughs> okay. I mean, I can't see you because it's dark out. Oh! <laughs> How's that? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Look, this film's really important. I, the... I get that. I can smell the importance coming off of it. New choice. I can see <gasps> this is from the Zabruder film. New choice. This is from when Bill Clinton was elected. <laughs> New choice. This is Orville Redenbacher getting head. Yes. New, New choice. Nope. <laughs> what? This is the rare Samoan bird of paradise. New choice. Oh, this film reveals that we actually landed on the moon. New choice. <laughs> this film shows me the contents of your refrigerator. <laughs> it's true. And that refrigerator was stolen a month ago. And I need that film developed so I can replace it like an exact replica. Got it. Oh, we're going back in time to where your, fil your, your refrigerator got stolen. No. That little deedle deedle dee is to show significance. That big deedle deedle dee is a flashback. Oh, well, now, now we're back to where your refrigerator got stolen. Guess who did it? Who? Me. What? All right, now. <laughs> you have to stop going over there to do the scene. I'm sorry. Oh, I hope you don't realize <laughs> that it was me who stole your refrigerator stuff. Uh, we just experienced a flashback together where we established that you stole my. Fridge. Yeah, but you didn't Too see bad, me. Too bad, tiny the... grenade. Oh! <laughs> New choice. <laughs> Too bad. I'm squeezing the grenade. Oh, gross. Uh, Ew, it was just full of juice. Yeah. It's just a grape. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It'd be better in a little more light. <laughs> Perfect. New choice. Uh. That's my setting for romance. New, new choice. This is my setting for angry. New choice. This is my setting for absolute darkness. <clears throat> new choice. I'm going to make it really bright in here. Get ready. Oh, god damn it. I'm going blind. No, you're just experiencing the extreme brightness of my lab. I don't know if one rules out the other. <laughs> I guess not technically, but I have mole eyes. New choice. <laughs> I have eyes that thrive on super light. New choice. I can't see either. New choice. I will turn down the light if I can find it. New choice. I am going to get high again on these chemicals. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so uh, we're going to keep doing other improv games for you. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have you guys fill in lines of dialogue for us, OK? So this is called Slide. It's called Slide. Nope. Random Lines is what, what it's called. It's called Random Lines. OK. Yeah, yeah. Random Lines. Let's so what's going to happen is uh, we'll be uh, doing a scene. There's our slide. And then That's a nice you slide. just give us a line. It's a sexy slide, right? It yeah. is sexy. And we'll incorporate that line into the scene like it was meant to be there. So start saying lines now as we'll randomly just grab lines now and again. And there you go. Yeah, we'll start, we'll start going out. Oh, uh, the real RJ Owens wants to know why my beard is red. Because his beard is red. There we go. <laughs> Any other questions? He has a legit red beard. His last name is Donnelly, guys. 
My mother's last name is Flanagan. Just so we're clear. If he had a pipe and a shillelagh, you wouldn't be able to tell him from a leprechaun. <laughs> and I have one of those at home. I'm not telling you which one. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so uh, we're going to start doing random lines. What we need for you is, uh, let's see here. We did a place of business last time. And movie. Oh, man. So we're really burning through. <laughs> Uh, where's a uh, where's a weird place to go on a first date? Let's start typing those. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Where's a weird place like to go on a first place? Like a pool that's got a woodpecker yeah. lifeguard at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be weird. That'd be weird. Take, Although, take the person there. Make a great story if it comes a wedding toast. <laughs> um, all right, mortuary. Mortuary is a weird place for a first date. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Can I uh, see her? If you wish, but I have to let you know. Yeah. Dang it, my wife is home. Uh, that's a, why were you? Why would that matter? Are you going to? I was going to show you the body, and then we were going to do things. To my dead sister? Probably, but my wife's here, so my wife's here, so we won't do that. Okay. I shouldn't have eaten that mayonnaise cupcake. I'm sorry. I only sell mayonnaise cupcakes in my foyer. I no. should change what I sell at this mortuary. I just, um, I want to identify my sister, but I also got a little suburban gurgling going on down below, if you know what I mean. Are you ready for me to open the casket? Yes. All right. But I smell meat. You know, Spike Lee is a genius. Why is, what is Spike Lee being a genius have to do with my... I wrote, do the right thing on the casket. <laughs> oh. To try and remind me not to open the casket and do the wrong thing. In that case, I'm also thankful for Spike Lee. You have to give me a moment. I've forgotten the combination. No problem. I really like dead people. Me too. That's why I'm a mortician. <laughs> Oh God, the smell. Yes. It's not from the casket, you. You smell, Jesus. I spent the morning making mayonnaise cupcakes, thank you very much. <laughs> the smell of mayonnaise cupcakes and sweat does not mingle well. All right, I finally got it open. And now, eat my festering jizz pie. No! Oh! <laughs> You've ruined her! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry! This is disgusting! I have a confession about the mayonnaise cupcakes, too! <laughs> She's only been here for like two hours! I was so full of goo today when I woke up! I, I, I felt like a beach ball that someone had put easy cheese inside of. <laughs> I had to find release. Do you understand? I had to find release. And this is what you. What I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the size of a horse. I know. I know. I know. This is why I got into this business. My oh. wife has bees. What? My wife has bees. <laughs> she's home and she's taking care of her apiary right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> enough of this. Yes. Oh. Uh, it's going to be a closed casket for sure. Do the right thing. Did not heed my... I didn't read it. Nope. I didn't do it. I did, did the not. wrong thing. Let me get that lock. Oh. <sighs> I'm I sorry. am broken. I'm a broken man. <sighs> Up until this moment, the most horrible story I ever had to tell was that of my sister's death. But now it's what happened at the mortuary with my sister's body that becomes the most horrible story. Do you understand that? My eyes are lactating. <laughs> Does that mean you're crying and you feel remorse? I'm crying, but I'm so filled. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that when it's, it's not tears. Don't. It's what it is. Oh. I'm sorry. You cry man I cry juice? every, yes. I'm so full, you understand? Yeah, I'm so full. I'm starting to feel more understanding, I guess. All right. I mean, I did work at the gravy factory as a child, so I sympathize. 
If someone took an icing piper and crammed it into a basketball and just wouldn't stop, that's me. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to bury her? <laughs> yes. Here's your shovel. Oh, I, I thought you took care of stuff. But okay, that's fine. No, you, you have to dig. We're going to bury her right here inside the building. So I can get at her again later. This is what I get for... I mean, I mean, so that she can rest eternally. Please ignore my gooey tears. <laughs> Hi, this is TV lawyer Glenn Lerner. If you or anyone in your family has had a bad experience with the mortuary, call 877-1500. <laughs> One of the wills, that's a man who knows how to shovel. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you all for your lines there. Thank you all for the lines. Yeah. Uh, Those were really good. That was, uh, we thought by moving to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, our time, that we would do a less disgusting show. Not what you thought. I, I thought. I know that. what's up. <laughs> well, you certainly The did. earlier it gets, the worse it is. <laughs> You've only seen me late at night. That's Does when everything's under control. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why I sleep. <laughs> you sleep so you don't jizz all over everybody? Um, <laughs> go back to sleep then. <laughs> go. <laughs> oh, man. Um, well, uh, if you have that kind of a fetish, go ahead and hit that tip button. <laughs> We got all, all the money shot fetishes, all the necrophiliacs. Go ahead and tip Paul right now. I'll take your money. I don't care. <laughs> You'll jizz all over there, money. I love the freaks. All Bring right. It. Um, yeah. Freaks uh, with money. If you if you if you think Paul should be stopped, tip me. No. <laughs> you know what's up. <laughs> jizz him, Jacob. Jizz him, Jacob. <laughs> jizz him. <laughs> Jism, Jacob. Jism. Jism, Jacob. Okay. okay. So, I gotta get some water. Uh, all right, Paul's gonna get water, and I'm gonna try to remember what's next. I believe it's, uh, what do we got? Show me this line. That'll work. Whoa! Oh, oh my god, it exploded. See, the exploded on the screen. Um, the studio audience is confused because they can't see the screen. Okay, great. Um, there it is. Okay. Uh, we're going to do scene through ways for you. Uh, so uh, right now what uh, you guys want to do is start typing in actual lines of dialogue you overheard someone say today. An actual line that you heard out of someone else's mouth today. Um, so uh, we're going to do a scene here called scene through ways. We're going to take that line. That'll be the first line of the scene that we do. We'll improvise that scene once. And then we're going to do it over again three different ways. Mm -hmm. A style of literature, a style of movie, and a style of music utilizing Spadoni. Yes. All right. So uh, what we need from you guys now is just a line of dialogue to kick it off. Kick it. We need to get him fried. All right. Battleborn bomb pop. Thank you. We'll do. We need to get him fried. We need to get him fried. <clears throat> We, uh, we, we need to get them fried. Okay, go ahead. I just thought we were supposed to try and sell traditional burritos. Yeah, no, no, no. This is Jimmy's Chimichunga place. We need to get them fried. Burritos? Anyone can sell burritos. Hey, you know who sold burritos? My cousin. Burrito Joe. And I hate Burrito Joe. You know why. Because he sold a lot of burritos. Oh, I mean, that's... Uh, he, 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 he killed my fiancé, but yes, he also... I must... <laughs> I suppose I'm jealous of his business acumen as well. Sure, I'm jealous of it, but yeah. Uh, but he, he still runs the business from jail. What? He runs the business from jail. Like some Colombian drug lord? He runs his burrito place from jail? Mm-hmm. He's serving time for killing your fiancé. But he's still running the business. Well, here we go. Why did you wait to tell me that? I didn't think I, I didn't want to upset you. Look, I, I don't give a can't. shit about Jimmy Chungus. My cousin's running a business from jail. Yeah. I was um, dead fiance burritos. <laughs> I didn't realize that 
that yeah. he was the owner of that business. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been going to Dead Fiesta Burritos. It's since a little they on the nose, but I went there to mourn and eat. They're done. Don't you double frying them? No, I'm putting in the clicky thing that holds the basket oh, the on top over? of the fryer. <laughs> They're gonna get residual drips. Yeah, it's fine. Let's let's go. Can you have a little sympathy for me? I do. Then what? why are you riding my ass about how I put the tray up? Because you should just sell regular burritos anyway. Fuck it. Let's go to Dead Fiance Burritos and bust that place up. All right, I'll drive. I'll stay here, <laughs> and you can meet your cousin there. <laughs> Welcome to Dead Fiance Burritos. Can I help you? Wait, so you, the prison's in the burrito place? Yes. What did you think? How could I run a, a burrito place in a real jail? Look, you killed my fiance. That's why I'm in this burrito prison. Prepare to fry. <laughs> my burrito. I want a chimichanga. One Jimmy coming up. Jimmy. <laughs> you want some cider guac? Is it extra? Yes! No! <laughs> Sour cream? Is it extra? Yes! No! <laughs> Would you like a lime slice? Is it extra? No! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> One fried chimney. Oh, 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 oh. Revenge! He got his revenge! You know what? I will take that guacamole. See! I know you're thinking, guys, don't touch that masterpiece. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> too late. We're gonna do it anyway. Too late. We're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> we're um, about to spray paint the Mona Lisa. <laughs> So, uh, what, we need, uh, what we need from you guys is a collar that stays up. And then, okay, uh, what we need from you guys is uh, a style of literature, please. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Gas Man Scoop. It is a nice watch. It's from a podcast sponsor. Um, all right. Um, oh, uh, Diz Mitzler says perfection. So he agrees with you, Paul. It was. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, so, gothic music? You want to do gothic music? Can you do gothic? I think so. All right, gothic all right. music. Gothic music. Then we need. We oh, got, I said gothic. Was it gothic? Yeah, was the well, book? it's all right. We got romance. Romance book. A uh, fantasy. And uh, detective noir. Do you detective want to do noir? Detective noir. Sure. Okay. So we got romance for the literary. Literary chur. <laughs> Kentucky boy. Literary chur is romance. Okay. Uh, movie is film noir. Yeah. Detective and. Music will be gothic. All right. Beautiful. All right, so let's start with... Let's replay it as romance. Romance. Let's get them fried. I'd rather do them raw. I told you I have issues with that. My cousin used to do it raw. Fine. I just thought we could serve regular burritos, not chimmies. No. Grab that rock hard, hard as iron shaft of a handle on that fry basket and dip it into the hot juices that make things good even better. Mm. Dip it hard. It's in there. Take it out again. It's already in. Now dip it back in. It's not my fault if you can't feel it. I'm gonna dip it back in. Stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna take it out. Oh. Now I'm gonna put it in just the tip of the basket. Oh God. Now all the way in. You teasing bastard. And now it's out. Oh. And now it's dripping. Ew. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sore. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Your cousin is running a business from jail. Cousin? The same cousin who killed my fiance? He's running dead fiance burritos from jail. I must avenge her death. Let's go. 
Okay, but I'm gonna stay. <laughs> I'll take this horse. <laughs> Goodbye, my love. Goodbye. I love you on your horse. I love your you. Your back muscles make me wet. Thank you. I, I can only see your back muscles and a horse's butt from here, but I'm dripping. Which is making you drip more, the back muscles or the horse's butt? The horse's butt. Fair enough. <laughs> <gasps> my cousin. My cousin. Oh, yeah. Right? It works both ways. <laughs> Speaking of both ways, I don't appreciate you killing my fiance by making her airtight with our other cousin doing an Eiffel Tower maneuver. She wanted it. How, she needed it. How dare you? I dare. You would be transformed if you'd give in to love with your cousin. I can't. I won't. Fine. How about a burrito made with love? I would like it without love. Good, because love is extra. <laughs> <laughs> but it does come with a free slice of lime. Free slice of lime? Mm. I thought you used to charge for lime. I did used to charge for lime. You're changing. Giving away lime is what life is about. If you don't learn to give away lime sometime, you just have a whole bunch of limes that go bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite vowel? Vowel? Vowel. Just e? Name. Yeah, say it again. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Hey, lime in your eye. Ah! <laughs> I'm actually a pretty lady and I loved you. Oh! <laughs> Juliana, my fiance was alive and now I killed her myself. It was the ultimate test of love and, and I, you failed. I failed. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I know what you're saying. Now, definitely don't mess with it. Okay, uh, do noir. Noir. There he was. Sucking on a soda at 2 a.m. on a Saturday in a closed burrito shop. Now's the time to make my move on the menu. We need a change. And this guy, not an agent for change. If I had to talk to him, knock some sense into him. Hey, buddy. Yeah, Mac? Let's get them fried. You want these burritos fried up? Yes. I gotta tell you, they're gonna go from burrito to chimichanga and a lickety split. That's they, the whole idea. They ain't no going back once you go chimmy. Come here, bub. Oh, no! Let me tell you right now. I'm gonna make you watch this. Watch! Oh, no! Take that. You rough it up them Ritos. See that? Whoa! You gonna talk? I'll talk. All right, you, you want me to drop no, this thing? No, you don't have to go, you don't have to go through with the thread on the burrito. I'll talk. Right. I'm easy. My cousin. Splash! Whoa, where'd he go? It's smoke soda. I'm still right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought I'd give you the old slipper room, but I forgot I work in a tiny building. And there's no door here. There's only one door. It's over there. Look, I have to go right through you to get to that door. I can't. Let's. let's you got me dead to rights, Mac. Boy, your oh boy. Let's quit the. I'm sure I'm screwed. Let's, six ways a Sunday on just, this one. If I could Ooh, just, man. Let me just. I've all the moxie. You I came wanna, in here with a guns a blazing. I, just, uh, I was really trying about, to show my stuff. Trying to move I guess I just ain't got the metal for it. I ain't for, got the teeth. I ain't Ooh. cut out for this kind of business, just, you know? Uh, I fold like a deck of cards. I crack like a box of salt peens, I do. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I'm just weak sauce. Yep, yep, yep. I'm ketchup in a bottle three days old. That's what I am. Looking for my cousin. <laughs> the murderer? The very same. I knows him. You know he he's runs a another, He runs another burrito joint across the town called the Cousin That Killed Your Fiance Burritos. That's him? He runs that place? Yeah. I should have known all along. You should have, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Some private dick you are. 
a real sleuth hound. Yeah? Keep talking, bub. Let's go, let's go to that burrito place together. All right. Except I'll... I'm not going with you. All right. That's even better. Great. So I need your company like I need another rash. I'll see you when you get there. All right. Taxi! That's another character. Taxi! <laughs> Taxi! Where to, man? <laughs> Uh, I need to go to my, uh, I'm the cousin who killed that fiance's burrito shop. Don't we all? No, it's the name of the burrito shop. Oh, okay. But it's actually I'm so used to people speaking in metaphor and allegories. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop coming over here. Why? <laughs> That's the best place. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> There he was, sitting right in front of me, like a caged animal, like a barred in chicken in a coop, like a fat piece of veal inside a tiny little box, sweating in the sun. Hey, it's me. I recognize you. Do you? Yep. Even all the years of sadness of you killing my fiance, washing all over my face. Wasn't sad for me. I had a great time. I killed the lady. And you cried. I'll take a burrito. You want it fried? Felt like a trick question. Felt like I was walking right into a trap. He knows I want it fried. He knows he doesn't normally fry them. What's his game? No, I said. Good. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You want spinach on it? He knows I hate spinach. He knows I hate all leafy greens. And who the hell puts spinach in a burrito? Yes. Popeye style. What? Popeye style. Popeyes put spinach in burritos? That's what I call a spinach filled burrito. Oh, with Popeye. Popeye style. It took me too long to get that joke. I felt stupid. It's not a joke. Serious. I was narrating. Why Popeye likes spinach. <laughs> You want extra spinach? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was your fiance. Oh no! Of all the burrito shops, of all the places, of all the times I'd shoot someone in the head in cold blood, it had to be my fiance. It had to be at this burrito shop. Oh. I was testing you on the spinach. I knew you didn't like spinach. Yeah. But then you went ahead and ordered it anyway. So yeah. I figured, well, he's not the guy I loved back in the day. Turns out I need that burrito, and I need to be married like I need a hole in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Gothic! Gothic! I need him fried, I need him like they died. Hard carcass, hard shell, you know you do it so well, drop them down. Down, 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 down. Yeah. I cook the burritos with the greatest of ease. I drop them in the basket in the boiling grease. They come out as chimichanga. Eat one while I sing my song. I know the place where your cousin works. What? He's the same one killed your fiance, that jerk. I know him. He runs the business out of a jail cell. He's still there and he's alive and well. Let's go. I'm saying, what? <laughs> We're here. Hey, motherfucker, you behind the bars. I'll smash your face in, I'll have you seeing stars. 
But you know what? I could use a burrito first. Also, do you have that weird cinnamon milk drink? I got thirst. I killed your fiance years ago. What would you like on your burrito? I've many options of toppings, you see. Everything from cheese to guacamole. Is it extra, the guac? Of course. What do you think I'm riding a charity shop, you horse's ass? <laughs> guacamole is always extra. Do you know the price of avocados on the market right now? They call them green gold. <laughs> then I don't want guacamole. Fine, <laughs> cheap piece of shit. Here's your burrito, fresh on the plate. Oh yeah. Hope you enjoy it, it is something I ate. Earlier today I made one for me. Oh. And this one is for you, it's a delicacy. I thought for a second you shat out on a, on a tortilla. Oh, and then remade it for that me. would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> that'd have been a real, that'd been a real dick move. Doesn't matter. It's, I'll go to the same place. Lime! I'm your fiance! I killed my fiance! I killed my fiance! Yep. Well, oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, good. <laughs> Michael Spadoni on the keyboards, everybody! everybody. Tearing it up. <laughs> and he, he, he's, a, he's, a real, he's a real star around town. Michael, tell people where you play around Las Vegas. Oh, I'm at uh, Oscar's Steakhouse, 7 to 10, Friday, Saturday, and at Don't Tell Mama, uh, 8 till close on Monday and Tuesday, and then at a secret bar inside of Commonwealth from 9 to 12. You're not supposed to tell people about the secret bar, right? Oh, I didn't say what it was. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just... That's it's just, awesome. It's just dangling that carrot in front yeah. of you. <laughs> um, all right, now's... Uh, Paul and I's most favorite time of the show and the time where we offend the most people. Yay! That's just a coincidence. One doesn't cause the other. <laughs> uh, but we're about to do a little triple threat. Tell them about it, Paul, while I drink a water. We have three different joke setups that we're about to incorporate. The first joke setup is 185 blank walk into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve blank here, and the blank says something pithy, or the bartender does, whatever. The second joke setup is, I like my women or I like my men like I like my blank. Then we fill in the blank there. Then our third joke setup is they call me the blank because I, whatever. And the fourth joke setup is uh, what's the difference between your mom and a blank? We use all of these joke setups and uh, we take one suggestion from you, put that into the blank, and try and get through all four of those joke setups, thus accomplishing the, the triple, triple threat. threat. Boom. All right, so uh, are we gonna do the thing where I stand over here? Are we gonna do our own camera? So is that my camera over here? Oh, we should move this way, yeah. We keep trying to stand in front of the keyboard, which makes it really hard to clip clips. Okay. I like it over there. I know, but then I know, this is the where background. this is where we should be living. I know. This, this is, is the good. nice place over here though. I know. Right? It is nice it's over It's very there, nice but, over here. But if we want to cut out clips and then you're, we're doing make em ups in front of a keyboard, it looks really weird. We're good. All right, so let's get a suggestion. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming in on the thing there. Uh, a cheese whiz from Cold Guy. All right. Cold Guy said cheese whiz. Cold Guy says cheese whiz. Thank you, Cold Guy. All right. 185 uh, cheese whiz walk into the bar, and the bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve cheese whiz here. And the cheese whiz say, oh, this is a bar just for crackers? <laughs> <laughs> 185 cheese whizzes walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve cheese whizzes here. And they're like, why? And they're like, because I read your ingredients, and you're disgusting. <laughs> I like my women like I like my cheese whiz. Easy to spread with my tongue. <laughs> I like my women like I like my cheese whiz. Easy to spread with Paul's tongue. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the cheese whiz because I come in a can. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and cheese whiz, Paul? Do tell. I'm only half embarrassed when I'm caught eating cheese whiz by my friends. <laughs> uh, what's the difference between your mom and cheese whiz? What's that? With your mom is the only right way to eat a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> 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 
It's a thinker. <laughs> What's there between your mom and the cheese whiz? What? Uh, one, uh, when I can't get her working, I bang the shit out of her on the counter in my kitchen, and the other's cheese whiz. Oh. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and cheese whiz? What's that? I can get the smell of cheese whiz off my fingers eventually. <laughs> It's, it's, it's that funny is horrible. It's that is horrible. Yeah, that, 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 one, that one upset Sarah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, oh. Um, oh, what? Oh, the tips aren't rolling in, huh? <laughs> uh, Scoop no, Kimberly just gave us water balloons. Water balloons. Water balloons. Water balloons. Water balloons. All right. <laughs> Uh, 185 water balloons walk into the bar. Bar says, we don't serve water balloons here. And uh, they go to leave, but then they trip, and then they fall, and they just make a huge mess. 185 water balloons walk into the bar. Bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve water balloons. The water balloons say, oh, we just came here to take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 185 water balloons walk into the bar. Bartender says, we don't serve water balloons here, and that's okay. We, we've already gotten our fill. Uh, I like my women like I like my water balloons. They can fit their whole mouth around a sink. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my water balloons. Thrown at me by, by my parents on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the water balloons because I explode in children's pants. <laughs> Just what happens. They call me the water balloon. <laughs> they call me the water balloon because I exploded all over a clown and no one cares. <laughs> uh, what's the difference between your mom and a water balloon? What's that? I had fun when I got into a mom fight. <laughs> <laughs> what's the difference between your mom and a water balloon? What? Uh, one, when I was uh, trying to uh, tie, tie or not, I uh, lost circulation of my finger until it turned purple and got pins and needles, and the others are water balloons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Maple Scoop says baseball mitt. Maple Scoop. Maple says, Scoop, baseball mitt. Thank yeah. you, Maple Scoop. Baseball, baseball mitt. mitt. Thank you, Jacob, for keeping an eye out. Uh, 185 uh, baseball mitts walk into the bar. Uh, bartender says, uh, uh, all right, one at a time, let's break you in. <laughs> I like my women like I like my baseball mitts. I got a good chance of catching something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, uh, call me, uh, they call me the baseball mitt because I seem like a really uh, fun investment, but I'm probably just going to hang out in your closet for a while. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and a baseball mitt? What's that? One, you have to break in real well and rub a bunch of leather lube into. <laughs> the other's a baseball mitt. <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and an old baseball mitt? Do tell. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Uh, all right. <laughs> Um, what else we got there? Jacob, what'd you see? Uh, Asked Chaps. Asked Chaps. That's from uh, Dope Ears? Sure. Asked Chaps? Asked Chaps. Or Asked. Pants. Oh, guys, I was going to say, so Pants. Pants. Yeah. Pants. Pants. Pants is what we're getting. Pants. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 185 Pants walking to the bar. Not surprising. They have legs. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I like my women, uh, <laughs> like, I like my pants with a well-worn crotch. Yeah. They call me pants because I'm always out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> pants. Uh, <laughs> what's the difference between your mom and pants? I don't know. Uh, one I uh, stick both legs into and feel pretty good, and the other is a pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between your mom and pants? What's that? I can get one for a couple bucks at Savers. The other's pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the difference between your mom and pants? What? I don't mind spending money on pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right. All right. <laughs> oh, Ho Jack Fielder says Matt's catching up. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> oh, do we have? Do you have a count, Wes? Is there a tally? Oh God. We. What's that? We need to make no, a. Uh, uh, there's a there's a link for the a tip, rank. The tip. Thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll figure out a way I down the line. You. We'll you know what we'll, we'll do? We'll put like a, a there's thermometer. A, there's a there's a link. All right, great. Ho Jack, you're on the you're on the message board. Uh, garage door opener. Garage door opener from uh, Bull Creek. Bull Creek. Uh, garage door opener. All right, garage door opener. Uh, 185 garage door openers walking in the bar. Uh, bar says, we don't serve garage door openers here. And they're like, okay, we'll let ourselves out. And then they hit the button, and then no one moves. <laughs> and they hit the button again, no one moves. They hit the button, and then they all move halfway out. They stop, and then they move right back in the bar. <laughs> I hate, I hate my garage. They call me the garage door opener because if you're not careful, you'll lose a finger. In the opener. I like the opener itself is that dangerous. I like my women like I like my garage door openers with fresh batteries. That's good. Inside I them. like that. I like that. I like that. Uh, What's the difference between your mom and a garage door opener? What's that? If I hit one, it opens the door. The other one doesn't fucking listen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the between your mom and a garage door opener? What? One, when they're not working, I have a handyman come over and work them over, and the other's a garage door opener. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one more, two more if this one sucks. All right. Great. Uh, you want to do uh, Mr. Curtis Stone says zucchini. Zucchini. Thank I, you. I just got accused of jumping the shark. I don't know why. Uh, it's episode one. It's because that it shark that you jumped. Oh. Uh, all right. Uh, zucchini. <laughs> zucchini. Oh, hold on, Paul. Yes. Before we make zucchini count, we have, a, we have a total update here. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I'm winning. I'm winning. Okay. Yeah, great. I have $15, and you have made $21.81. I'm winning. Does that's, that mean, that's what it's all about. The 81 cents, are you making like a penny at a time? I'll take it any way I can. The freaks know. Give me that freak money. That reminds me. <laughs> I like that freak money. That reminds me of my favorite joke. Can I tell it? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, uh, this woman uh, comes home after she's been fighting with her husband. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, she's like drunk and she stinks and she's sloppy and she barges in the door. And the husband's waiting there and he's like, where have you been? And she's like, I have been out fucking other men for money and I have $80.25. And the husband goes, and 25 cents? Who gave you a quarter? And the woman says, everyone. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah! I love that joke. That's a good joke. I like it. Solid. Zucchini? Zucchini. All right. 185 zucchinis walk in the bar. Partner says, we don't serve cucumbers here. And they're like, oh, people do that all the time. <laughs> We're zucchinis. <laughs> 185 zucchinis walk into the bar. And the bartender says, wow, I never thought I'd see such a fashion forward thought. But these are awesome bikinis for all the animals in the zoo. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Zucchinis. But we got it. Uh, Coming to Saturday mornings on NBC. <laughs> Zucchinis. <laughs> Zucchinis. <laughs> they like to swim all day. They like to swim all day. Hey, they're, they're only lady animals. <laughs> only lady animals. Zucchinis. Well, when we were in the pitch room, it was like, uh, I want to show like uh, an elephant, but I want to show her tits. You know? And I said, no, put a zucchini on it. And now we're rich. All right. Um, so. <laughs> Strangely, after that bit, Matt is ahead on the total. Really? Yep. <laughs> Don't know how that Cheating. happened. 
<laughs> Cheating. <laughs> Cheating. I just went to 40 bucks? Yeah. See? Oh, no, there's a running total right there. People so, want to watch zucchinis. <laughs> we got it. Just keep tipping me if you want to see the pilot of zucchini. <laughs> I came up with zucchinis. <laughs> it's my idea. Don't tip him shit. Zucchinis welcome, is my welcome baby. Welcome to Hollywood, Paul. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Intellectual property theft. It's oh. on camera. <laughs> Fuck you! Forty-three dollars. Fuck you! Yeah. We know what's up. Bullshit! Bullshit! If you want right. to see Paul get really pissed off, just keep tipping Matt. Yeah. <laughs> if you're tipping for zucchinis, fuck you. All right. How do you tip Jacob? Push him hard. That's how. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do we? What do we got? One uh, more thing with zucchinis no, and no. no zucchinis. We should stop on zucchinis. Yeah. Do we go any further? But, Spray uh, paint the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Uh, they, uh, they call me zucchini, because sure, I can fit in vaginally, but honestly, anally is where I'm at. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we, didn't do what I, we didn't do the two others. We didn't I like my others. women yeah. or... We didn't do I okay. like my women. Um, I like my women like I like zucchinis. A soon-to-be super popular Saturday morning kids show. <laughs> <laughs> With no tits. No tits. Keenies on them tits. <laughs> Keeny up them tits. This is a kid's show. Don't That's just have tits around. Keeny them up. <laughs> Get them tits keeny now. Paul actually is just having a flashback to his dad when he swam with the wire. Keeny up them tits, boy. <laughs> you keeny up them tits. People didn't come here to see that. Keeny up them tits. <laughs> Get back in the water. <laughs> <laughs> What's, uh, What's the difference between your mom and a zucchini? Um, I, uh, nothing. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Your mom's just a zucchini. What's the difference between your mom and a zucchini? What's that? One will clog up a salad shooter. <laughs> <laughs> and the other is a zucchini? That's right. <laughs> Uh, Correct. <laughs> <What's> Correct. <that>? <laughs> Correct. Uh, what's the difference between your mom and a zucchini? I don't know. Uh, one uh, goes really well with onions and marinara sauce, and the other is a zucchini. Mm. <laughs> hey, what's the difference between your mom and a zucchini? What's what? That? Uh, one is really easy to peel the skin off of to get to the sweet meat inside, <laughs> <laughs> and the other one's a zucchini. Yeah. Oh. I want oh. Jacob close it up. That's Jacob. Yeah, that's Jacob. <laughs> There you go. Dry bone back there. Closing it out. Dry bone closing out the triple threat. That's I'll right. see superhero tip twice by mistake. Your victory is illegitimate. Russian hacking. Who tipped twice? Oh, superhero. <laughs> superhero. Uh, superhero. <laughs> Am I still on camera one here? Yeah, superhero. Uh, we're keeping your money. Okay. okay. So just, just so we're clear. If you, if you do so want a refund, though, in all honesty, if you want a refund, uh, just email paul at payscoops.com. <laughs> And a refund will be forthcoming. Dry bone shake. Uh, anywhere from 30 to 60 years, you will get your refund. <laughs> uh, yeah. At one point, I think the very first hire will be you, you'll get someone to go through your first email. Actually, fine, yeah. yeah. It's in there. There's, nobody writes me. It's fine. Yeah. Don't All write right. me. Where are we back? We're going to go back to two over uh, here? Yes, we're on okay. two. What are we, right. uh, what's next? Uh, well, let's do. That was triple threat, uh, by the way. That was triple threat, by the way, yeah. yeah. Uh, save your applause. Okay, so um, <laughs> <laughs> let's do. <laughs> Uh, I think it's time for bucket picks, right? Yeah. This is the, yeah. Paul and I are going through puberty. That means it's time for bucket picks. Yeah. Woo! So the way it works is you guys have already been tweeting out pictures with the hashtag bucket picks. Some of you. P-I-C-S. And Jacob's over there on the computer. He's been hunting for those, uh, for those pictures. And so what's going to happen is Paul and I have never seen these pictures before. We're going to look at them. Uh, and then we're going to improvise based on whatever we see in those pictures. Mm -hmm. We're not going to necessarily reenact everything that's in them. We're just going to be inspired by the pick uh, and then do a we'll scene. Take one little piece of the image, yeah. the emotion that hits us from the image, whatever, yeah. and uh, do something based on that. So yeah. there we go. One pick at a time. Yeah. All right. So let's see our first pick for bucket picks. Oh, this is good. The it's darkness. Just, darkness. Was, uh, hold on, was, hold on. Little was, problem. Uh, it was a flashback to the uh, picture developing scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. 
I turned all the lights off in here with my giant dimmer that goes all the way around the room. Am I blind at this point, or is this how far back did we go? No, now we're in the darkness. When oh, okay. I stepped on it, it made it all dark. Who said that? No one. I'm a ghost. Mad Max. All right. We we're did. back. Okay. Okay, there oh, we there go. There we go. There's our picture. Great. Why are you mad at me, Siegfried? It's an investment. We don't need snowballs. This is not a snowball, this is a testicle of an, of an Antarctic whale. What are we going to do with that in the show? We're going to say, what? Someone's going to say, whale nut, and I'll be like, right here. Whale nut? Yeah. So you're going to say something like, Let's make something disappear. And yeah. you say, whale nut. Yes. And then there comes the whale nut. Yes, and then it appears. You always doubt my magic. You always doubt my skills. But I've got a whale nut hunk in this show. And I promise you that it kills. That is like a beach ball. Filled up with the cake icing. Baby, we show the crowd how it works. Oh, this is so nice. -ing. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry I deflated your whale nut, but Are it you? was worth it. Oh. I'm going to clean you up now. With your tongue? Yes. See? <laughs> <laughs> If you want to see us actually make out like Siegfried and Roy, tip Paul. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag well done. Thanks, Scooper Nova Girl. Just a tip. That's going to be the one. That's going to get us trending. Hijinx okay. is giving tips to Team Jacob. Hey, no, thank you, right. Hijinx. <laughs> Love Hijinx. Oh, I like oh. this. I like this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys see it's the screw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She thinks she's cute. What? She came over here acting all special. Oh, no, she did. Such a bitch. Seriously? She thinks your shit don't stink. Listen, let's bite her to death. Sounds good. I'm also going to steal her eggs. What are you going to do with the eggs? Eat them. Eat them? Yes. You know what else you could do with them? What? You could put them into a magic show. Eggs? People be like, snake eggs, and then it appears. <laughs> People do say snake eggs all the time. <laughs> you <Theme. know> <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't getting better from there. No. Nope. Uh, no, it's all downhill. You hit, from the, hit that, the zenith. From that precipice. All right, next pick. <laughs> Honey. Why can't you have a normal bachelor party? <laughs> I want to get like a call that says like, oh, Daryl's at a strip club, but we gotta, you got to come pick him up, or, you know, Daryl got drunk. I thought a clown class would be kind of sexy. To who? Me. To yourself? Just me. It's my bachelor party. Can't I have a clown class bachelor party? I don't even know you. I don't even know who I'm marrying. You're marrying a man who wants to be a clown. What? I want to be a clown. I asked you on your first date, as long as you don't want to be a clown, we can keep dating. And I lied to you. <laughs> Why? So we could get married. And then what? And then I could become a clown who's married. I've always wanted to be a married clown. <laughs> One day I'm going to grow up and be a married clown. We're closed. <laughs> <laughs> I used to scream at that donut shop's door every day. That wasn't the only thing I'd scream at that donut shop. Really? Mm-hmm. One day I'm gonna grow up, I'm gonna be a donut! We're so close! I had lots of big dreams when I was a kid. Yeah. I still haven't become a donut yet either. No, uh, but, but I can be a clown, a married clown. You know I can't accept that. I can't have a clown in my family. I'll lose my inheritance. It's the one thing my grandpa, grandpa, and grandfather. That's why I said grandpa. I'll give you your inheritance, Yay! but you can't marry a damn clown. Oh, what are the odds of that, Gramps? Pretty good, you idiot. What?
I guess he knew. I just attract clowns. You're not even the first one I have to break up with. If you actually went back in history and looked up who your grandfather had married. Yeah? God damn it, I married a clown! What? <laughs> the woman just had a horn on her nose. Anyways, um, <laughs> you're not the first clown I've had to break up with, you know. There were other clowns before me? Yes. That first kiss was really lovely. I'm glad you liked it. Oh no, are you juggling? Yes. We're through. <laughs> and then... That was a good time of letting someone go to second base with me. <sighs> are you... Are you sitting on a trunk filled with props? Yes. <laughs> and pooping into it. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're a clown, but I'm still breaking up with you. <laughs> oh, I'm a clown. <laughs> ah! Ah! I'm downtown. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I dated downtown Shitsy Brown. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Shitsy Brown? Yeah. The clown who uses feces as his clown makeup? Yes. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm downtown <laughs> Shitsy Brown, the clown that uses his own feces as his clown makeup. Today, I'd like to show you my new act. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> ah, I've got shit on my face! <laughs> uh, that will just stop that scene forever. <laughs> I never thought we'd have a, a, a crowd online that misses regular blackface. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> Slacking fool, Gigi Allen the Clown, nice pull, oh, friend. Nice. nice pull. That is a good pull. Oh, boy. Downtown Shitsy Brown, hashtag. Take that, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, <laughs> all right. Forever. T one of the wheels. TM King nine 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 says terrifying. Bull Creek, what just happened? You saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what just happened. Don't act like you're innocent in this. If you don't know, we're not explaining That's it. That's right. That's right. I expect tips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 look. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming back. Paul's coming back. <laughs> Quick, rub more shit on your face. <laughs> Pretend shit on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. right. I'm up. I'm up by a mere seven dollars. <laughs> this is a tight one. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, let's do the next picture. Yes, please. <laughs> that is awful. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. I've, I've never missed Will Adamson more. <laughs> Since we put Jacob in charge of selecting the pictures. Uh, this was actually tweeted to us from Will Adamson. <laughs> <clears throat> so you're in the market for a minivan. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Certified pre-owned, if that's okay. Absolutely. Well, we've got this new uh, Astro. Just okay. came in today. It's Looking good. just been cleaned. Here you can see the door oh, opens yeah, to the side. It smells like a new smell. It smells like a new car. Nice and smooth. So yeah. uh, you got kids already? Yeah, yeah. I just got a couple. And, uh, well, this is good for three. Okay. Anything more than that, you're going to need a bigger van. Okay. Well, I, I only have one right now. Great. Well, then this is perfect. Okay. So uh, the previous owners, uh, they just, they just uh, wanted to upgrade? They or? murdered their children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of this Euro van. <laughs> Honey. We shouldn't have bought a European car. Why? Because I don't like driving on this side. You don't like and riding on, on this side. Riding on the side while I drive? Yes. Oh. Is that the only thing you regret? Well, that and smothering the kids today. Okay. <laughs> Talk it out. <laughs> uh, it sounds like you only got the story of what happened after they got killed, not them actually getting killed. Yeah, no, I didn't never I didn't pry. <laughs> I don't want to I don't wanna know about that. Yeah. Um, There's teeth in the seat, so <laughs> that something went real That's yeah. Tough. Uh give it. <laughs> Do you have other vans I could look at, or? This is it. <laughs> Just old teeth seat, <laughs> I, uh, I call it. I think I'd like any uh, any other car, then, besides a, a minivan filled with teeth, so. All right, the only other car I have is this Volkswagen v Bug. Okay. Uh, any murders take place in this? Many. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Do you have any cars that haven't been privy to murdering? Uh, 
Go find another dealership. <laughs> Do I have any cars? I've what? It's called murder cars. Oh! I sell cars that have murders in them. Oh my gosh, you know what? I just was across the street, I didn't even look. I was just eating at uh, my cousin killed my fiance's burritos. Yeah. I walked right across the street and uh, I didn't even look up. Yeah. We have a deal with them. Would you like a coupon? Yeah. Well, I already ate there, but I'll come back. Thanks. You know what? I feel bad. Just, uh, uh, don't feel bad. Buy the van. No, no, that's what I'm going to do. You're getting free teeth. <laughs> See. See. All right, next picture. Stephen King's used car lot. Nice. Oh, Paul's already got a boner. Mm. My cowboy left me. Nessie. He left me. Don't blame yourself. I didn't say I blame myself. My oh, cowboy well you seem left me. sad. I am sad. My cowboy left me. I won't find another rider like him ever again. Don't you understand? You're free now, Nessie. No, I'm not free. The life of a horse is nothing without a cowboy on his back. Well, I'm sad because my cowboy left me. He left me here all alone I'm sad cause my cowboy He left me here with this open field to roam He ain't coming back He ain't coming back My cowboy is gone Well, things could be worse. You could have a ride. You could have a new cowboy with his penis inside. You're behind. What? What? You might wake up and find. What kind of cowboy did you have? Uh, a horse raping one. <laughs> So, uh, chin up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Horse rape. Scroll down and tip Matt. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> Zucchinis! Fix those horses! Oh, shit! Oh, you raped one horse, now Paul's in the lead. <laughs> Jesus. Paul's up by three bucks. Fuck. Rape a horse. All right. Um, let's see, uh, another pick there. <laughs> oh, it's a classic. That's my boy Nug from his Mustard Man days. He was a, he's a, a meme. That oh. was a meme. And that's my, actually my friend him? Nug. That's Nug Nargang. Oh, that's Nug? That's Nug. He had an incredible weight loss story, which you should check out. Nug is awesome. Uh, and that's, uh, that's his Mustard Man meme. Cool. Well, uh, thank you for uh, torpedoing our ability to do a scene with Sorry. That. All right. Sorry, I can't not call out my boy Nug. You could have waited until after the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Next pick. <laughs> you want me to torpedo this one too? No. Because <laughs> I could. <laughs> Honey, are you sure you want to get married here? Yes, I want to get married here. There's something about it. I can't place my finger on it, but this doesn't seem like a sacred place. What do you mean it doesn't seem like a sacred place? Well, there's, uh... What's more sacred than the deep, space, deep sea vehicle, the Sea Quest, with the dolphin tub? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I thought I'd get married somewhere less aquatic. No, no. We're getting married here in this Sequest themed amusement park. Look, I know that we both. I know Sequest got canceled early. Right. But they still built an amusement park after Sequest. I know. I know that one kid killed himself. But they still built an amusement park after Sequest. Do you see why I don't get to get married here? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> don't you want a dolphin to read us our. Vows? Anything. I want a dolphin to read us anything, of course. Please, go ahead, Chippy. <laughs> I'm Chippy the Dolphin, here to read to you. Honey, 
What would you like me to read today? Anything. Anything will do. Here's the back of my medical insurance card. News and titles the bearer to a discount of 10% <laughs> off of most over-the-counter drugs and prescriptions as well. Here's my AAA membership. If you find yourself in an accident, please call tow truck first. <laughs> like call our number here. And then, stay clear of the vehicle. Here's my member to the ACLU. You are an old bitch. <laughs> Here's my membership to the AARP. You should look for more rights. <laughs> <laughs> I switched them. I know. Uh, and then I switched them again. All right, so what was that picture you saw? Oh, that was someone had put a really interesting stained glass filter on Characters from Star Trek: The Experience, of which I was one in the set. Oh, so the last that last you still mean. have that, Jacob? You saw that photo? Uh, hold, hold on, hold on just a second. <clears throat> uh, so this was actually a picture of you. That was me in the center as a Klingon. That was you, and then mm -hmm. someone used like a filter, like, they a, like a, a Instagram a, filter, a, a, some kind of filter on it that made it look like a stained glass window, which looked it looked awesome. Okay. So that was my boy. Oh yeah, here you go. That was my right. boy Quan. Okay. So that's Quan the Ferengi. That's me, Voha the Mighty, uh, and then that's uh, Major Kalin, our commanding officer. Okay. You were in Star Trek The Experience? Shut the fuck up, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been a really good gig. Uh, that is the most interesting thing I've heard of happening in Star Trek The Experience, is what I just saw right there. Okay, great. The place was awesome. It was. Um, all right. Yes, Chippy is related to Trunkers. Okay, next, uh, next, next photo, please. <laughs> cool story. <laughs> Thanks, I'm a primo 87. Can't... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm a little upset with the latest cover of Canada Magazine. What's the problem, eh? Uh, I don't know what the fuck we're trying to sell about Canada by having two underage kids getting married with a cat. Well, it's, uh, you know, they got married to the cat. They married the cat. Who did? The kids. Both of them? Yep. So it's a three-way marriage? With a cat. And so that's what we want. Uh, cat, cat fucking couples around, come on out to Canada? Hey, I'm sorry, but we're gonna do anything we can to drive up traffic. That thing's gonna drive away traffic. What are you talking about? We already got, like, new bookings for cat marriages. Really? Mm-hmm. That can't be true. Let me pull up the stats. Holy shit! Check out the pussy hotel. <laughs> it's booked. Booked solid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Check out the cat scratch fever inn. Oh! Mm-hmm. Only one room left. Right. Oh, just got booked. Yep. It's sold out. Check out the histamine hideaway. <laughs> it's booked. Of course. Everybody wants to fuck cats. And you know where you can do it clean and legal? Right here in the good old Canada, USA. <laughs> I had a dream. A dream of fucking cats. And here in Canada, you can do exactly that. We fuck our cats all day and night from shore to shore, you see. Canada, it starts with the letter C and that stands for cat pussy. Oh, let's keep cats constantly in our pants. <laughs> Oh, Canada, we fuck a cat for you. Canada, USA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the bucket show, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna call it there. Thank you guys so much. That's Paul Manley. That's Matt Donnelly. Over there is Spadoni on the keyboard. Jacob, the audio guy. Hey, hey. You're sounding fantastic over there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on Twitch TV. We also have a podcast that you can listen to twice a week, Matt Mattingly's Ice Cream Social. Tune into that wherever fine podcasts are sold. That's right. And then, of course, so grab your bucket there, Paul. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, so uh, it's the end of our show. Up until this point, this show has been worth zero dollars. But if you think it's worth more than zero dollars, please express that by throwing money in one of our buckets. And, of course, more importantly, who did you like better in the show? Just tip that person, that person only. So if you liked Paul uh, fucking cats and putting shit all over his face, tip Paul. If you like Matt for tolerating. Uh, no, no, just leave it right there. That's all you got to say. Okay. We're good. All right. 
Uh, just scroll down. You can go to the actual tip bucket here. Yeah, look at this. Uh, anyone in Pennies our live studio from audience, heaven. you can do that. Thank you, guys. Thank Stay you so up much. Here. Anyone who's up here, step here and wave, wave to yeah, our audience Yeah, come on. Wave here. goodbye, everybody. Thank you rolling. so much. Yay. Oh, there it is. Look at it. The smush. Oh, the smush. Smushing, yeah. smushing the dollars. Oh, smushing, give it the smush. Smush the oh, dollars. That's guys, horrible. thank you all so much. We love all you scoops. Thank you all for contributing on live. We couldn't do it without you guys watching and helping give us all these suggestions. Um, thank we, you. Uh, ooh, ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. New Tech. Thank uh, you. Polaris Studios. Polaris Studios, you guys. Come on out to Las Vegas. See us on Wednesdays. Uh, we're yes, here every week. Yes, I got a voucher. Gambling like good. <laughs> yes. like a blood stain on it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that good. makes it more valuable, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, I believe, uh, evidence. <laughs> I this is, uh, that's what that is. There. And we'll now I've it. touched it. My DNA is now on it. We'll I think take I've, it. I've just been framed is what that, happened. That works. That works. Uh, we'll be back here every Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Uh, our time, that specific time uh, over here. You can also watch this live broadcast, our uh, stuff Thank here you. on Twitch. Uh, you can go to uh, Twitch Prime and link your uh, Amazon account to our account and subscribe, and that gives us money for nothing out of your pocket, which is the cool thing here. Mm -hmm. You can keep cheering us, and of course, you can scroll down. But let's go ahead and take a look at the final tally for today's show. Oh, what do you know? Oh, fuck. Man, they sure <laughs> like the... It's Twitch crowd. You're like shit smearing. Justice oh. has been served. Oh. Thank you, Twitch. Yes, more Brent, uh, Scoop John V is saying. Yeah, Brent will be back here next week. Brent is officially our warm-up comic mm -hmm. until he finds something better to do. And uh, whoever was, uh, Brent gave you his phone number. Give him a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scoop that. Scoop it. Give him a call, this Scoop It's weird. Oh, what's unique about Brent is he enjoys a blowjob. So... <laughs> Just know that. So weird. Just something like that you can do to just cater to him specifically, him only. Okay, so uh, uh, that's it. That's it for me. All right, thank you guys for tipping, even though you tip Paul more than me. Yeah. <laughs>